Yo, what's up, y'all? So, I just want to really quickly touch on the Oreo update. I know I haven't done it before, but it wasn't really much to talk about, you know what I'm saying? In terms of, like, picture quality and stuff like that. It's just better. It's just a better um, user interface for those who do use the in-apps and stuff like that. Um, it's It does a couple fine-tuning to certain things, but not really to an extent, like, to, to wow about. Again, like, this is just mainly focused on a user interface update. So, there are a little couple benefits that it, that it, that it brings to um, the Sony lineup. Um, not a huge benefit, but stuff like um, the Dolby Vision on Netflix is obviously at its peak right now. I don't think it get better than this. There was some times on Dolby Vision that the the blacks look elevated. They're high, highly elevated, so it has like a grayish, blackish thing. But that's on certain scenes. They completely fixed that. There's no more of that issue anymore. So Dolby Vision is fine tuned. Also. For those who watch Netflix on YouTube, it it now has HDR. So if you want to go ahead and use that, it's there for you. But like I said, I use my Roku for streaming, so I don't care really much about the the in app. Um, that's basically it when it comes to that. Obviously, the user face is much snappier than before. So that's something good to talk. About. Let's see if I can go through. Give you an example of how fast it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and click action menu. Go to picture settings. There's adjustments, and as you can tell, everything is just snappier now. Darken the picture. Bring up the picture. Everything is 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 way snappier now. But um, the thing about it now. There is an option to collect to, um to select picture mode without even going through the action menu. They no longer have that, which is a bummer for me because I use that all the time. Instead of going through action menu like this and go down to picture adjustments, it's usually a click of a button that it goes to, but they took that off. Also, if you do watch over the air content or cable content, there is an option right here. Oh, it's not gonna show right now because I'm not using I'm not really using um a cable box or anything like that. But there's an option right here as in um clarity. And it's not gonna show right now, but it's it has intelligent. And if you're gonna watch over the air content, always pick intelligent because it keeps the picture quality without deteriorating the picture quality, but it gives you it reduces noise. So if you watching cable, you're gonna see an option here that says intelligent. Always pick that. Don't pick nothing else but that, cause it it keeps the picture quality and reduces noise at the same time. So um, that's it for that. There's nothing improvements on that, but there is a slight improvement when it comes to um X1 processing chip ones. That's not included in the 900e. Cause I, it doesn't need it, but the nine hundred F, I mean nine hundred nine thirty E and nine forty and so on and so forth, we did get a bump in motion, so I would say the motion is in, in par with the nine hundred E finally, from what I can tell, and it's on a couple um forums about the motion, and I seen it myself watching some Blu-rays, but um other than that. There's no other improvements in picture quality, no brightness improvement, no contrast improvement. It's just basically motion we got and a snappy user user face. Dolby Vision is fixed for for Netflix and HDR on YouTube. That's basically it for that for this update. So that's it. Just wanted to let you guys know what they give us. And what they took away from us, which is something that I really wanted, which is a picture mode option. They took that away now. So, yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.